When Paul Pierce passed Larry Bird on February 7, 2012 to become the second all-time leading scorer in Celtics history, he set yet another milestone as a member of the greatest franchise in the history of the sport. What Larry Bird meant to the city of Boston and the history of basketball is best measured by the influence he had on the game as well as the lasting memories he left on the court. Though this is a scoring mark, Pierce is now flanked in between two of the all-time great complete players in Bird and John Havlicek, not just in team history, but in the history of the game. Paul Pierce used his draft night experience as he fell to the Celtics as the 10th overall pick in 1998 as added motivation to become a great player and his near-death experience in the fall of 2000 to develop an even greater will to win. But it took time. It took tasting some team success in 2002 and 2003 prior to the team hitting rock bottom five years later before it all came together again for Pierce and for the Celtics. Aaron to talk to Pierce. And Joe DeRosa telling him to shut up. Pierce. Thanks to Pierce's work ethic and the franchise's commitment to regaining its rightful place in NBA royalty, they got Pierce the help he needed and they climbed the mountaintop together as one led by Pierce. Pierce, final seconds. Pierce puts it up for the win. Knocks it down. Celtics win. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Always a clutch scorer, Pierce has now prided himself on raising the level of his teammates around him and doing the little things each and every night to keep the Celtics moving forward as they chase championship banner number 18. Paul Pierce quietly and steadily has bridged generations of Celtics fans as both he and his teammates realize the great responsibility it is to carry on the tradition of being a Celtic, which was born decades earlier. Thank you, Paul Pierce, for everything you have given the Celtics and the game of basketball. And please, feel free to keep reaching milestones as your number 34 will someday hang in its rightful place above the parquet floor.